Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can prompt in Suno AI. In order to do so, here we are at Suno.com. And if you're unfamiliar with prompting in Suno and you're just looking for a place to get started, let's go ahead and help you out with that. So first off, you're going to want to make sure that you're on the create option in the menu. And then from there, you can see here that we have a few options when it comes to prompting. So first off, you can enter in your lyrics here. And then in this box, you can enter in the style of music. You also have some helpful suggestions here at the bottom. You can just click any of these and it will show up there. And if we click a couple of them, you'll notice that we get a comma in between each selection. So that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is make sure that you add a comma in uh, after every single selection that you make, whether or not you use these options down here or you enter in your own prompts. So for example, if I just put rock and uh, why not, we'll just say jazz, we'll go ahead and uh, add that comma after every single word that we add there. The next thing here that we can take a look at, so as I showed you, we can enter in our lyrics here, but you can also click on the option here that says full song. And when you do, then it's going to open up here and it's going to say, describe the lyrics you want or share a theme or topic. So if you want Suno's help in writing some lyrics, then you can do that here. So that's quite uh, nice. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to use Suno for a, a product uh, ad that we were making. So let's say uh, I'm selling soap and need a short commercial jingle and let's get that correct and then we can go ahead and hit light write lyrics here and then suno is going to give us a couple of options that we can choose from so here you go we have two options soap sensation and bubbly bliss and then you have this button here that says select this option so we can go ahead and uh click that and once we do then you can see that suno has now added those lyrics there there's also the option here by line and you can see that we can also add lyrics by line if we want to uh make some changes here if we want to add some stuff if we don't quite like what's going on then you can add some additional lines using this option this is kind of a new uh feature uh the other thing here that we want to take a look at is we want to look at these two buttons here instrumental and custom so you could see that by toggling the custom button that this is going to simplify our options and here all we have is song description so if uh, you just wanted to say let's say a song for an action movie trailer so let's say you're putting together a movie trailer and you want Suno to help you out with that then you can just do something as simple as that and then hit create and then Suno will uh, create your uh, song and it will always give you two options to choose from so here you could see a variety of songs that I've created already so if we just hit create here another thing here before we move on this uh, option here where it says instrumental so that's something to take into consideration as well do you want lyrics for your song if you don't want any lyrics you just want uh, some cool music for your action movie trailer then make sure that that's set to instrumental and then when you're done you can go ahead and hit create right there and then you could see that suno is now generating our songs and again suno will always generate two options for you to choose from so that's one of the nice things about it uh let's go ahead and go back to the custom option because let's take a closer look at your options when it comes to prompting so we've added our lyrics and now we want to add our style of music so let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just keep this as an instrumental just so that it's uh, not so busy here and I'm going to show you a couple of additional things that I've learned along the way to help you get a better result so 
here we're going to uh, we have our kind of basic styles already set up and the next thing we want to do is we want to add a couple of additional prompts so usually what i like to do is i like to add in stereo high quality i've also seen people use high fidelity you can even say mixed and mastered and the final thing that might be a good idea is to add something like uh, outro. So outro meaning that is uh, the uh, end of your song. So you're telling Suno that you want to make sure that the song has an outro at the end. And the reason that we want to do that is because sometimes Suno will create a song and then it will cut off the song at the end now when it does that that's not necessarily a bad thing because what you can do then is you can use the extend function right here so if you just click on extend uh, for any song that might just cut off abruptly and you want to make sure that uh, the song is completed then you can click extend right here and uh, we'll take a closer look here at the moment but in the meantime you can see here we've added our details and we've clicked outro here and then we can go ahead and click create and now we have our soap commercial that is being generated here um, so that gives you some idea there of what you can do so the next thing let's go ahead and take a look at extent so let's say that we have this song here within the abyss and uh, that it gets cut off abruptly at the end so you're listening to it let's go ahead and hit play on this one we'll just uh, fast forward this here to the end a little bit more okay so this song does end at the end um, so that's kind of what we want. But let's say we want to extend it. Let's pretend that this is just cut off abruptly and we want to extend it. So all we have to do is we just have to click this button here that it says extend. And then now you're going to see here on the left hand side that it's going to say extend from 257. So from there then, now you can see this button has changed and it says extend. So if we click extend, then you're going to see here Suno is going to be generating our songs and it says here part two. So we know that, uh, okay. So the reason that it said Soap Sensation, that was my fault. It's because the title was still in here from the uh, other one that we just generated. So that's something that we want to take uh, care of. Um, so in this case, Within the Abyss is the name of the song. So we should have changed the title to Within the Abyss. And uh, you could see here, though, that this is actually the second part of Within the Abyss, but it's just called Soap Sensation. So that's an error on my part, but that's something to be aware of but you can also see here that it says part two next to it so then from there if you have a song where there's two parts to it then what you're probably going to need to do is you're going to need to download those songs and bring them into a DAW uh, or you can even use a video editor if you want and then you're going to have to stitch those two parts together uh, using something like uh, audacity is probably your best bet it's a free DAW that you can take advantage of but if you're familiar with something like CapCut or uh, or DaVinci Resolve then you can also use something like that as well especially if you plan to add visuals to your song so then you can then uh, for each song you come here to the right hand side and you click these three buttons and then you're going to see here this option that says download so from there you can then download in either mp3 or wave uh, you can only download Download in wave if you have a subscription uh, but you do have the option here to download the mp3 and then what you can do is you could transfer that over into your DAW or your video editing software and then you can stitch it together there so that's all to give you an idea of how you can prompt using Suno and by using certain little keywords like stereo high quality high fidelity mix mastered and something like outro if you want the song to if you want to make sure that the song ends and doesn't continue at the end um, 
you know, at that point you can extend it, but if you just want it to end at the end, then you can put an outro or you can also do something like that, uh, something like uh, fade out something along those lines. And that just gives Suno an idea that you want to make sure that the song ends on the outro or a fade out. And that's all there is to it. That gives you an idea of how you can prompt in Suno. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.